Welcome back to Cards of Comics, guys. Today I have a pretty special mail day because I've just completed a set. And uh, it's not a big set, but it's a Clemente set. And to me, that's very special because anytime I can put together a complete run of Clemente cards, no matter what it's from or what era, it's really cool, really special because I'm a diehard Clemente collector. And that's the first thing I ever collected. So if you don't know anything about me or my channel, um, I'm a Clemente collector first and always. Even though I don't show tons of Clemente cards, it's because, you know, through the journey, I already pretty much had them all before I even started this channel. So I've showed off a few Clemente cards. You can check out some of my videos here. But this is two cards I picked up that complete um, this run. And the first card, and I'll show you, and you kind of know what run it is. But first card here, 69 OPG Clemente 7.5. Um, so it's the Opeachy set and here's the back and I love Opeachy backs. This back is no difference. And this is such a clean back. I love it. Really love it. It's well centered, just great color. That really deep Opeachy color that you see on these backs. But this card is very nice for a 7.5. Love this card. I, I think that I love the gray just because it was a little bit cheaper because uh, I buy a lot of eights and this card in an eight would have been a lot more expensive. So this, this gave me a little bit more uh, price, you know, I was able to get a little cheaper. And in reality, I don't really care. I just want to have this cards in nice condition. And this is in very nice condition, 7.5. Now it's not the only one. No, 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 no. This is not the only Clemente I picked up from the set. So this is the card that finished it. And... I don't know if I mentioned it in my video uh, about the National, but when I went to the National, I tried to buy this card uh, from Layton, um, and he uh, wouldn't sell it to me. He had a PSA 8 of this card, and he said no deal when I tried to buy the card from him. So I ended up buying the one that was on eBay. I finally just gave in, and I just bought it, and here it is, and uh, it's a great card. Um, for one thing, I knew going into it, this card, perfectly centered for the most part maybe a little high top i mean like a fraction it's it's a really nicely centered card um and then you've got you know like i said just got it in just got authenticated you've got that and, I, and again this is one of the years where the back isn't to me better um because it's almost like a gray back it's a really weird thing they did so in 69 they made the back a lot more deeper color than the regular back, which is pink. And this is like a deep, um, like magenta versus just pink. Um, and then this card is just very washed out looking. So again, I think it's just, you know, luck of the draw. I don't think they were trying to do anything to make it ugly, but it definitely looks different than the other years. And we'll show some of the years. So now I have the run done. I have every base Comente card that's a peachy. So this is the base set. So I don't have all the league leaders. Uh, I don't, and I, I do have the in action from 72. So I do have some of the subset cards, but not every one of them. But this is just the base Clemente cards, which to me are the, the big ones, the ones you really want to get. So I'm going to put them in order here and we'll go through them. And Clemente is odd because he doesn't have every year. So like there's big gaps between years that Clemente has cards. And I, it just, depending on what series he was in, a lot of times they would do a peachy only the first couple of series of cards that top spit out. And so you would, if you were in the different series, you may not have a card in a peachy versus tops. So let's go through them. The first year of Clemente here is 65. So here's my 65 of peachy Clemente PSA seven. And again, um, this card does come up for auction and does come up a few times a year. Um, it's not, as rare as some other ones, you can see it's got kind of a faded blue back, not the really deep blue. So, you know, they, they kind of had a, a washed out effect here. Um, this one's very well centered. Uh, I mean, it's a little off, but it's still really nice. So peaches can be tough uh, with the centering. And so to me, this is an old grade too. So the sevens up there, guys. Um, so that means a lot of things to different people. Some people are like, oh, it's graded really easily. Some people think they were graded harder. Uh, this is before the half grades came along. So again, I think the card's nice for the grade. So I am very happy with the card. So, 
you know um i think the card is uh, exactly what it is so i'm like so you can see the back and again the back is going to give you the condition of those corners to see if it's truly a seven or seven five. you can see this one has a little bit of that opg weird cut that you see sometimes um but it's still pretty sharp and pretty square so there you go 65 opg clemente next up is again the 68 so you missed 66 and 67 it goes to 68 there's the 68 we saw before so there you go uh next up is the 69 uh, so there is a 69 and we saw it before seven five so right now i'm averaging a little over seven on my gpa uh, if you just want to go set registry kind of talk uh now the 70 uh, i haven't shown this card off in a little while but my 70 here's my 70 opichi and it is an eight um this one is a little off center but again um you know it's very common for this issue and then you go look at the back and you get that familiar kind of washed out looking back um but that's what the thing about the peachy backs is like you can definitely tell tops from a peachy and again this card is one of the older grades as well in fact you got this non-hologram man back in the day guys um but again the corners are super sharp the show them to you It's a really nice card. Um, really stoked to have um, this one. I got this one a long time ago. So I've had this one the longest of all my Opichi Clementes. Next one I got at the National uh, last year. The 71 Opichi. And again, this card is tough for a lot of reasons. Uh, one thing this card does, it's, it's always cut short. And so there's a lot of times this card comes back min size. So again back when you know um older grade card again non-hologram but you can see the beautiful 71 peachy back uh, which is yellow versus green so this is what i like <laughs> they changed the color of the back i think it's really cool in 71 um goes well with the pirates too you know um so there you go 71 peachy went against six but again this card is uber tough it's always min size. Um, so this card definitely to me uh, is a card that I'm super stoked to get in any grade. Six is, is probably um, you know, as good as you can find. I mean, there's some sevens and eights, I believe, but this this one is really, really tough. And so um happy with this with the six there. So again, you know, we're averaging just a little above seven uh, overall in GPA. Um, next up is my 72. And it's a seven. Um, now I had an, and I still have a nine OC, um, which from a GPA perspective, it comes out a seven. So I have picked up a straight seven because it's well centered. So the nine OC um, is super sharp. I mean, it looks like it, well, you know, you could uh, trim your beard with it, but um, I just, you know, the off center uh, bothered me a little bit. So it's still in my collection. I still have a nine OC. Uh, so if someone needs 72 Opichi Clemente, I uh, have a 90C if that would fit your bill. Um, there's the back. And again, you can see this card is off center on the back. Um, pretty, pretty good. But I do love the front on this card. I do love the centering. So that's my 72. And then last but not least, because I have another card to show. Uh, but here's the 73. It is an 8. So um, again, my GPA is slightly like a 7172, if I was going to calculate it. Um, but here's an 8 and 73. Um, not much to say about this card. Um, you know, it is um, very classic Opichi kind of cut. In fact, it's got a rough cut on this edge right here. You can see it right there. So in the classic Opichi, a little tough off that corner. Um, and even this side has a little bit of a rough cut as well. So this card definitely has the, the rough cut. Um, again, older graded card. Um, and this card barely, barely hung on uh, for that black border all the way around. Um, so this card is definitely, um, you know, has a lot of the trademark of peachy issues that makes getting high grade of peachy cards tough. Um, but it came in an eight. So again, um, that's all the base cards. Now this card is an insert, um, but since it's sort of like 
you know, a, a, a image by himself. It's it's almost like a base card, even though it's not. It's the Deco Edge. Clemente, here's an eight uh, from Opeachy from 69. So this kind of, and again, these are blank back. So this is kind of uh, uh, one of the few Clemente cards by himself. Uh, again, as a Peachy. And then he's got League Leaders and some other cards too. So this isn't like every Opeachy that has Clemente on him. But these are the kind of solo uh, Clemente cards uh, with um, that came in Opeachy. And uh, just really uh, think it's cool to have this whole set. Uh, now, and um, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to display them and uh, have fun with them. So I'm working on uh, putting my cards up behind me in a, in a, in a bigger display. And uh, when I get it done, I'll let you guys see it. I'm ordering some, I've got some new holders I've been using. I'm really excited about them. So changing my whole display around a little bit. Uh, I mean, it's not going to look, it's going to look more uniform and uh, I think a lot better, but it's definitely not going to be you know, radical. I'm not going to have LED lights everywhere and stuff spinning around uh, like some displays, but it's going to look cool. Um, but again, the 68, 69, that was pickups I just got and it took forever. This card, I purchased it almost like right after the national and it took almost over a month, uh, to get it to me from, from, from the whole uh, authentication side of it. So the authentication part is uh, is cool, but man, it is slow in getting you cards sometimes. So there it is, guys. Let me know what you think. I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy, uh, you know, getting this set complete. I'm going to be looking to get now the subset cards, but I'm not going to get them at near the. I don't have the fervor to get those as fast as I, I got these. I was really jonesing for this card after the national, so I'm glad I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, and this is what I talked about in one of my videos selling. I'm selling some of my vintage cards to buy cards, um, other cards. And this is an example of me selling some fifties and sixties hall of famers and buying this card because I would rather have this card than a, you know, 65, uh, you know, uh, Billy Williams, you know, so this is sort of what I'm doing. And, uh, you'll see the nineties cards and these cards. So I'm doing, um, I'm, I'm adding to my collections versus just having some random cards sitting around. So there it is guys. That's my collection update. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time on cards and comics. Bye.